lovelies, welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft series. As you can see, I'm in front of their lovely Christmas tree that we built last episode. I actually keep forgetting that it's here. I keep walking around my world and I'm like, whoa, when did that get there? As if I didn't just build it myself. <laughs> Anyways, for today's episode, I have a couple things in mind that I think we need to get done because I think I've waited long enough. Uh, I'm not actually sure when this episode is going to be put out. I'm currently filming this before Christmas, but it might come out after Christmas, so I guess we'll see. Now something you may all have noticed is I have had over 30 levels for a really long time now, and I will tell you I am absolutely terrified every day that I'm going to lose them all. Speaking of which, I should probably put on my armor right now as I say that because of because knowing my luck, a creeper would sneak up right behind me as I was saying that and kill me. There's no creeper there though. So for today, I think it is pretty important for us to get ourselves an enchanting setup. So in order to do that, I have been spending a whole bunch of time off camera farming my sugar cane. And I've spent a lot of time breeding up and getting leather from our cows over here and I think we finally have enough so today is the day that we finally learn to do some magic so before we can get started on making our enchanting setup first we need to find where I want to put it now I think I have an idea of where I would like to build it eventually but I'm not able to do a lot of huge buildings at the moment so, I was looking around our world, trying to see what would be a cool place for it, and I remembered that over here, right below our lovely pumpkin, there is this kind of like cave area built in over here, and it's pretty cool. I actually really love this cave, and I want to use it for something, and I think that making an enchanting looking cave could be cool. It goes like right through and you can see the lovely scenery out here. I think it's pretty nice. I think it'll make a perfect setup for our enchanting table. So before we get to work on our cave, first we need to obviously make an enchanting table. So we will need to... Hello there. Oh, I, 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 I forgot I have another cat here. <laughs> I completely forgot. Um, so yeah. It, so uh, in between episodes, as you can see, I I got another cat. They're all so cute. Look at them all in their Christmas sweaters. It's so cute, honestly. Uh, yeah. I didn't plan to get another cat. I I promise. I promise. I. I <laughs> I may or may not be slowly becoming a cat lady in this Minecraft world, but listen, I saw it. he was wandering around. He was wandering around the Minecraft world while I was gathering materials, and I couldn't just leave him. I had to, I, I, I you know, so uh, we have another cat now. We really need to get some name tags so we can actually name these cats. Anyways, cute cats aside, uh, so we need to make an enchanting table. So obviously, we're gonna need we're gonna need our obsidian for that, and we're gonna need a ton of books. Whoa, I have forty three books in here. What? Maybe I didn't need to kill all those cows. <laughs> I didn't realize how many books I had. Where did I even get all these? But we have a bunch of leather anyways. <laughs> and of course, we need two diamonds, which I managed to find on a live stream. So let's just quickly make this enchanting table. Oh, so exciting. All right, so before I set up our enchanting table, I think I need to at least decorate the cave at least a little bit. So I thought what would be cool is if we put a bunch of moss and azalea leaves around. Make it feel like an enchanted grotto of sorts. Alright, I managed to get a bunch of things I feel like we might end up using to decorate our new enchanting area. So all that's left is to make the area look a bit nicer and decorate. 
I am now realizing that maybe the green lush theme looks a bit weird with all the snow around, but sooner or later this will all melt, so it won't matter anyway. Alright, I also managed to get us some stone to help fill in these walls a little bit, because there are some parts where we're going to have to get rid of, including the coal and definitely that gravel patch there. That is an accident waiting to happen, and we definitely need to break it. <laughs> so maybe we should just start with that right away, make sure we're not standing anywhere near it. Ah, that wasn't as dramatic as I thought it was going to be. Okay, the break more! Why is it all coming down? Break! Break more! Well, good enough. <laughs> okay, that was a ginormous pocket of gravel! Oh god, it looks ugly. We gotta fix it. We gotta fix it. Alright, that definitely looks a lot better now. There's definitely a lot more that needs to be done in this cave, and I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get it all done today, but I'm going to try my best to get as much done as I can. Alright, so I think we need to figure out where this table is going to go, and I think I'm leaning more towards this area right here that we just cleaned up, because I think it would be nice to have it more in the center of the cave, right next to this outlook here. But I don't want to place it on the table just yet, just in case I change my mind. So for now, we're just going to pretend that the enchanting table is this piece of gravel. And we shall surround it with gravel bookshelves. So now that we have the placement down, I think I'm just going to try my best to clean up this cave a bit more. And I'll get back to you once I'm done. Alright, I think that's looking pretty good for right now. I'm trying to make it feel a bit more roomier in here. I know we have this giant hole in the ceiling right now, but honestly, I do not feel like trying to fix that right now, so I'll just leave that for another day. So I think the next thing to work on is the flooring. Now I could just keep it the same stone that it is, because it is a cave, so it would make sense, but I think it would be nice to add a bit of texturing in this area, and just mix match a bunch of different grays to make it a bit more interesting. I don't really have too many blocks to do that right now, but I think I'm just going to break a couple spots here and just fill in with some cobblestone, some andesite in some spots, and you know what, maybe even some gravel, since we have a whole bunch of it now. And actually, I think I might get some of the moss we have and maybe make some of these mossy stone. Just to add a bit of different colors around. Alright, so I actually ended up running out of some of the blocks I was using for texturing. So I'll probably come back and finish the rest of the floor later. Maybe even add in some different blocks too if I could find some more. Alright, I finished adding some stairs so we can get up and down easier. I'll probably try and add some stone slabs around the cave area too to make it look a bit more natural. But I don't have that many, so we're just going to place a couple around. Alright, I think it could be fun to maybe dig out a part of this area here and place down some moss. Take some bone meal and bone meal the area. Oh, that looks super weird. <laughs> that looks so weird. Oh no, we're going to have to get rid of the grass for now. We'll add some later on, but for right now that looks funky. I don't like it. Alright, now that that's done, I think it could be cute to dig out a bit of a space in the middle here. And we'll just fill this little area with some water. Hopefully this won't freeze over with all the snow around. But it's magic water, so I think it should be okay. And I think what could be cool is if we could somehow have a waterfall dripping down into this pool. And we'll try placing it right here. Oh, that flows down perfectly. Oh, it looks so much more magical now. Now we have a nice little sacred pond for our enchanted grotto. I think one thing that could be pretty cool to try as well is maybe add some vines on the end here. To make a sort of curtain so you have to walk through them as you go as you enter the sacred pool 
So we have a lot of greenery with our sacred pool here. I definitely want to try adding a bunch of leaves around this place and make it feel a bit more lively and magical. Oh, that's looking so nice already. I definitely want to try adding some of these flowering ones as well. Oh no, I just realized that the vines are red. I couldn't tell at first because it was too dark, but they, those are very clearly red. Well, I didn't intend for them to be green, but you know, I think it looks pretty nice actually. Adds another pop of color to this area. And once all the snow melts, they'll probably turn back to green anyway, because that's how vines work, obviously. Alright, I think that's finally enough leaves placed around here. I might mess around with them a bit more later, but I think for right now this is looking pretty magical. Oh, this place is looking so cute so far. I think the last thing I want to do for right now is to light up this place with some lanterns, because of course they look amazing. <gasps> yes, that looks so much better than a torch on the wall. Let's place them everywhere. Okay, this place is starting to look amazing. All that's left is to put the actual enchanting table in here instead of just having a bunch of gravel on the ground. <gasps> so magical! Now we just need some bookshelves. Alright, we have our bookshelves all placed, and it looks absolutely perfect in here. Oh, it just makes it feel so complete. I love it. All that's left to do is to take some lapis and check to make sure that we actually get a level 30 enchant with this. And it looks like we do. Oh man, now, oh, I don't know what to enchant now. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> Actually, I know exactly what we're going to enchant first, but let me just go get it real quick. Of course, the first thing we need to enchant is... Oh, it's not in here. Is... Our diamond pickaxe! I almost forgot we had one of these because it's been so long since I've used it. We should definitely put an enchantment on this first. Alright, let's see what we can get on here. Hopefully something good. Fortune 3? That is pretty good. Yeah, I think we're gonna take that. Yes. <gasps> and we got efficiency 4? Oh, that is perfect. We are so close to having a really good diamond pickaxe already. Oh my god, I'm so excited. That's so cool. So, it looks like I have enough levels that I can enchant at least one more thing with the level 30 enchant. But I think I might wait on that just for a little while, just because all my tools are pretty busted and my armor is almost broken. So I'll probably wait around until I'm able to craft a new tool or set or something before I use another level 30 enchant. But I'm glad we were able to get a really powerful pickaxe from it at least. I'm just going to leave my lapis in this barrel here and I'll clean up this mess later because I don't want to right now. Alright, I think the only other thing I would like to do with this area before I call it good is I really want to connect up our pathway from over there to here. And I'd like to add an easier way to walk up this hill part here because it is real annoying having to do these jumps every time. I think the best way to do that is to flatten out this area a little bit. I'm going to connect up the pathway and I'll probably add some slabs to make it easier to walk up and down. Oh my god! <gasps> You scared the heck out of me! You make me through my shovel! You jerk! Oh my god, he scared me so bad! How dare you! I should punch you for scaring me like that! But I won't, because your llamas are gonna attack me. Alright, well now that you've given me a heart attack, what do you have? It better be something good, man! You scared the heck out of me! And it's nothing. Well, the coral block is pretty cool, but I don't have a use for coral blocks, so therefore they are useless. Alright, so now let's try to connect up our pathway and hopefully I won't get scared again! 
All right, so I've finished our pathway to our enchanted grotto. Now we can walk up it super easily and access our enchanting table. I think this turned out super cute. I might try adding some more things to this area here and there, but I think for right now, I am actually really happy with how this turned out. I didn't think I would be so happy with how it looks, but it really looks beautiful. I think it might look a little out of place with all the snow around, but on the other hand, maybe that just makes it feel even more magical because it's untouched by the cold winter breeze. Alright, before we wrap up this episode, there is one more thing we need to do. As I mentioned in the last episode, I actually ended up putting some presents underneath our Christmas tree. But I decided to keep it a secret from you all so we can all open them together for Christmas. And I've actually forgotten what I put in most of these presents. So it's going to be a surprise for me too, honestly. <laughs> Okay, what one should we start with? Let's do this one. <gasps> a brewing stand. Some golden carrots and some nether quartz. Oh, what a lovely gift. All right, let's open this one that's right behind it. <gasps> a fishing rod that I fished up myself <laughs> with mending on it. That's almost broken actually. <laughs> A flint and steel that's used. Fantastic. Some wheat that I have so much of. The steel's like one of those presents where you just find some used old junk around your house and throw into a gift and <laughs> call it good enough. That's, com that's totally what I just did there. Alright, I think I'm just gonna try going down a line so I don't accidentally open the same one twice. So let's open this one next. A saddle! I have so many saddles, oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna need to get a whole lot of horses after this. Alright, this one next. <gasps> An emerald! Oh, and some new armor! Oh my goodness! My armor is actually not that broken. I could actually use some of these, I think. Maybe we could enchant one of them. Oh my god, that'd be perfect. Alright, we got a few more less. So let's open this one that's kind of hidden back here. <gasps> a nautilus shell oh my goodness see i know it might seem like i'm faking these reactions but i genuinely forgot i put these things in here <laughs> so these are all genuinely surprise reactions <laughs> it's so silly all right and then i think this is the last one so <gasps> lanterns oh my god yes i gotta use those in a heart of the sea, some pie, and a protection three book. Heck yeah! Wow, we ended up getting so much stuff. Actually, looking at it all in my inventory like this, it looks like junk. <laughs> and with that, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. I know this episode ended up being a little shorter, but we did manage to get our enchanting area all done, and it looks so nice in here. Hopefully, we'll continue to get some good luck with our enchantments in the future and eventually get a full set of enchanted armor. I mean flowers. That being said, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your night slash day, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!